Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. We're entering stage three of Neo Star, which is world four in the game. And oh my god, you guys, I had a heck of a time getting that last freaking shard when I was doing my last recording. Like, I hate the dynamite power up because I'm terrible at it. So. I was just like, oh, I was so over it. It took me so many tries to get that far into the level with the dynamite power up. Because there's no way to get it in the level, which is really stupid and annoying. But that's just how it is. So this is like my favorite song in the game. So welcome back. This is my least, like, I think the scariest looking enemy in the game. So, cool. Goodbye, spider. I can't remember that spider's name. I used to know it. It just looks so creepy. Like, how it looks all like sketched out a pencil or something? I don't know, it just has major creepy vibes for me. Um, I'm here with this sword because I was over it and I was like, I need a sword, guys. I need something I can control. I can't handle this, like, poopy stink butt anymore, so... And apparently I need... Uh, what is that? It looks orange, but there's like... I guess rock? Do I seriously? Well, I don't know. I mean, is it supposed to be brown? Maybe. I mean, we just had rock, guys. I feel really, really annoyed getting rid of my sword, though. Um, so, I'm just not going to, because <laughs> I don't know that it is rock. So, needless to say, I'll come back and get it later. So, I'm not really worried about it. It's at, like, the very beginning of the level. It won't be hard to get later. Okay, so, big volcano dude. See, this is what I ha hate, is when enemies have projectiles and then they, like, weirdly use them against you even though they're already dead. Like, that shouldn't be allowed. That's cheating. Aw, cute little axe dude. I think those axe dudes are so funny because they, like, just topple over. Um, Cubo knockoff. Oh my god, this fly. Story of my life. Okay. So anyway, uh, Neo Star coming to a close today, which means we get to more of the game that I think is a little bit better. I think the levels are a little bit better in the next particular world. Uh, I think they're a lot cuter. So, can't wait to see that. I'm, I'm really excited for that. Needless to say, though, that means that, like, my least favorite level's coming up, too. Only, like, least favorite in the way you have to get some of the shards, though, that gave me a lot of trouble. Um, but anyway. We are over halfway done with this project now. Which is kind of exciting. I am going to be doing all the extras and everything, because actually one of my favorite parts of the game... Uh, lies in the extras. I love, 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 love the minigame segments that are part of Kirby 64 and often played the minigames more than I played the actual game when it came to just, you know, playing this game in my childhood and enjoying it with my sisters and friends who came over. It's like, let's play the Kirby minigame! So we did. Um, so it's just a, a really awesome little fun part of this game, extra part of this game. I wish that more new games did that kind of stuff. Oh, it's this level. Oh, this has a tough shard in it. This is a really tough shard. Oh, and it's gonna be really tough with Fire Sword, kind of. Well, maybe not this part. This part might be easy with Fire Sword, so I'll just use Fire Sword for this bottom part. Um, this is a really weirdly designed shard in my opinion. You have to to make the picture that Artso just drew um, out of these blocks. And I mean, you get as many tries as you want, but it's like, you know, you're basically molding this thing with your breath, which isn't the easiest thing to do. Okay, I almost screwed myself over there. I think we might get it, though. Might be okay. Fire sword maybe helped us a little bit. Because it took out a lot of the, the work we would have had to do. <gasps> no! Oh, wait, I think that's okay. I was like, oh my god, no! 
Um, just have to be like so precise. There are different puzzles too. There's um, one that is just a round puzzle with corners. Yay, we did it! Now who would figure that out on their own? Like people have to look that up later. Um, Woohoo! We made that umbrella. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there are different puzzles you can get. I want to say one's like a pizza or something, and if you if you get that, you just have to take out the corners. So it's significantly easier than some of the other puzzles. Oh, I didn't know I couldn't step on you. Um, truth be told, I have to give a little bit of kudos to Odie for that, because I watched him do that umbrella power-up when I co-commentated on this world, and... Uh, if not for that, I, I probably wouldn't have done that umbrella correctly. I probably would have shaped it differently. Oh no, I didn't mean to kill Axe, dude! Okay. So, so many stones! I'm so done with these stone power-ups. And I think I said that uh, last time I was wrong. I, I said that stone and fire was firework, which would be awesome. But that's electric and stone, not not fire and stone, so I was just not accurate when I said that. That was like what I wished it was, because it's a lot easier to come across fire than it is um, than it is electricity, so of course these flies would be here. I really haven't had that much health this, this whole time, too, so luckily we get a bunch of health right here. Um, Okay, I want this guy to die. Yeah! Alright, I got all the health, so now I should be golden. Cactus, give me your cact. Give me your cact, yo! Cactus dudes are fun. Double needle, we haven't seen this in a while. Uh, okay. The needle power-ups on their own don't really bother me that much. I think they're okay. Is there a shard down here? If there is, I missed it. And I'm kind of nervous to go back because I don't want to just plummet to my death. Oh! Kirby! I love cute little Easter eggs like this. Kirby! I'm getting all the flies with my double. Double needle. <laughs> Double hype. Alright. And I'm doing pretty well on lives only because I basically banked them on accident. I wasn't even intentionally banking them, but um, when I had to do, you know, stage two of this so many times, oh my god, it just, I kept collecting one ups there and it was terrible because I kept dying at the same time. But anyway. Anyway. Hi, Kirby. Anything? No. I think this also has one of the shards that I didn't get until fairly recently. Uh, because I believe this is another stage where you need a power-up that you cannot get within this level. Which, again, really dumb. But what can you do? So I'll have to go back for it. Probably inevitably, because I don't have the power-up combination that you need. Oh, and I forgot that I even had a power-up, so I, like, wasn't using it, even though I should have been. I'm just taking damage for no reason. So, yeah. So, yeah, sorry I haven't been a little bit more on point when it comes to actual, like, power-ups. And having the right thing at the right time. But like I said, I'm just playing this very naturally. I'm not trying to play this with you know, expert knowledge on the shards because honestly, it's been a long time. I haven't played through this game enough enough to getting all the shards to know. I've played through the game and the levels, but like, I, again, didn't want to worry about 100%ing it. I just enjoyed playing this game. So, it's just a fun game. It's really, really cute the way it's designed and, um, I believe it's one of those, like, classic N64 titles that, with the kind of, like, classic visuals and the cuteness is on point, like, for back in the day. Like, it's very suited to the time period, and I think it represents the N64 period very well. Not that that isn't, you know, you can't say that for all 
all N64 titles, but this one just is a lot cuter. Alright, so now I get to make use of King DDD's hammer, which is pretty fun. Except he gets burnt because he's a big chicken. And he gets to tear this place up, tearing it apart. So, I think this segment's fun. I remember doing this segment uh, multiple times when I was collecting those shards uh, a couple years ago. So, yeah, I remember doing this DDD segment like a million times. So that tells you how many times I had to come back and do this level for a shard fantastic reason. Cool, thanks for pooping on me. Bird poop. You're not allowed to poop on other birds. Um, but yeah. I thought there was a shard like in one of these stumps. Maybe we haven't gotten to it yet? I don't know, that seems kind of weird. I just get paranoid with this kind of stuff. Maybe it's this one? No? Can I not do this any further? Oh, okay. That's kind of stupid. God, get this fly out of here! Reckon us! Stop! Alright, I think there was a shard in there. At least I remember there being one in there. <laughs> but, yeah, it's blocked my way so I can't go back. Oh yeah, I have double needle. I keep forgetting I even have a power-up, and that didn't help just being on DDD all that time. Okay, so there's a potential for needing something in here. But I don't really remember. I'm probably gonna keep saying that. So I'm gonna talk about something else, so... Um, you guys, uh, by the time you're seeing this, Animal Crossing New Horizons is on the horizon. Like, I don't know that it'll be out yet by the time you see this, but it's definitely, like, within the next couple of days if, if it's not already out by the time you see this. Oh, electric. I gotta get... Stop pooping on me! Fire and electric? What is that? Ooh! Sparkles! That's so cute! It's like static electricity. How adorable is that? Um, I'm not gonna do like a an entire oh hothead. I forgot about that. It like he starts himself on fire. How cute! Wow, I like never use this power up. Then clearly, I like that you can just get people with the sparks though. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing a full overview of all of the Kirby power-ups because it's highly unlikely we will see them all, just given the nature of this game. Um, I've been trying my best just to show off what I can, different things, but I'm kind of just going with what you naturally get in the levels. Um, so I apologize if you're like, why haven't you used this power-up? Oh, this is my favorite one. Like, I'm sorry if you haven't seen, like your favorite one or something yet, but I'm really just casually playing this. I'm not trying to do like a a full on like this power up is what makes magic happen. Um but yeah. There we go. First death of of this part. Why? Cause this part sucks. Give me that Oh, you ruined my fire. For that you'll pay. Here, give me double fire. I love double fire. Why? Because you can speed through all this crap. Can't control your landing very well, though, is the only bad part. And that bird will still poop on you. But yeah, see how easy that makes things? Um, especially for this part right here with all these flies. Well, didn't help me there, though. Yeah, like I said, you can't control your landing super well, or it cheats you out by doing stupid stuff like that. Or like that! That's cool, too. Can I just get out of this room? I'm so over it. 
I'm over it! <laughs> Get away! Oh, no. So, I think... I thought you needed fire there, but maybe not? Okay. I don't know. It seems kind of stupid that you'd need fire, considering this is like an avalanche. An avalanche? What am I talking about? Oh my god! That's not what I meant, you guys. I meant since this is a volcano, avalanche is the opposite. Avalanche would be snow. Not this crap. Actually, double fire is pretty good here. Oh my god! Seriously. Like, one health left. I have zero health left. Zero health, guys! Zero health! <sighs> so lame. It's like it wants you to, to double fire, though. I hate those birds. Those birds are the worst. Like, they really are. The worst. Yeah, it's been a pretty rough project as far as these final parts have been. And as far as me getting cheated out of stuff like the food I just ran over. Cool. Start going up higher. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, so I have a little bit of a little bit of landing time. I don't know why I went for that when I like didn't even need it at all. I'm running away. Yeah. All right, avalanche. One up. Oh yeah, now it's going to start going up. I don't think we've found any of the shards in here, have we? Meaning we probably I I mean I know we missed. Oh no. I know we missed, like, the the ones from earlier that I was like, I don't remember what combination you need for this. Is this another Waddle Dee saving grace? I think it might be? Maybe not. I don't really know. I don't remember. No, it's not. I thought this was another instance where Waddle Dee hooks you up. Wow, or I can just, you know, never get out of here. Woo! We escaped. Just in time. Just in time, you guys. And I accidentally jumped over the one-up. Which is not what I wanted to do. So yeah, we missed the first two shards. Um, that's okay. I know that one of them is weird, so I'll go back and get it later, just like I always do. Okay, so welcome to the boss, which is fire. It's the big, it's Jabba the Hutt slash Blarg slash whatever this guy's actual name is. Ooh, whoa, ladies. Oh, maybe this power-up's not good for this. Oh, I don't even have my power-up anymore. Oh, no. Hmm. I don't know what I just did, but it didn't work. It didn't work. I don't know. I guess I hit that guy with my fire. Oh, well, I, there we go. I'm like, how do I get fire again? Well, not like that. Uh, probably should come back with a power-up, so give me a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and I have a fire sword again. I'm gonna try this and see how well it works. <laughs> I don't know that it'll work that well, only because... Well, number one, because I messed up immediately, but... You need to try and get on the side where he's not. I mean, you can also just do that, but... Um... Here we go. Like this. Come on. Give me that hand, yo. Yeah. Sucks to be that guy. Oh, wait, he's coming after me. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, other than messing up. <laughs> okay, I was like, what the heck? Where's this, like, meter? Am I hitting him? I guess not. Oh, no! I don't want to die. I don't know how to hit him. Yeah, like, how was I supposed to hit him right there? I don't get how to hit him! No! Okay, try again. Okay, so we're trying a different power-up yet again, because I don't feel like I could get close enough with the fire sword to really make a difference. Um, so we're gonna try Fire and Mom, which I was wrong about at the beginning of this when I was like, Hey, by the way, like, rock and electric or whatever. I don't know why I, like, can't get the firework power-up right. Why I'm like, oh, yeah, not... Not that. Why- also, why am I getting hurt a bunch? I don't really know why I'm getting hurt a bunch, but... I mean, that's cool, I guess. Okay, well, I got him. The bad news is I only have, like, one health left. Hopefully we can get him with this. I think I was hitting the top. Like, I was hitting the- the rooftop that's, like, on fire. But yeah, I was like, I don't know what I was saying earlier. I was like, oh yeah, rock is firework. And it's like, rock is definitely not firework. So, I don't know why I was coming up with this like that. Oh god. Okay. I think we might be okay. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just kept hitting, like, the rooftop for some reason. Sorry, that was my own newbie- noobishness. My noobious. So. Yay! No more Neostar! Woohoo! Woo Thank god. I really don't like Neostar, as you can probably tell. Like, it's why I don't remember it, because it has a bunch of levels in it that I don't like, and... Pretty- pretty boring, to be honest. So. Oh, no, don't leave Waddle Dee! Yay! Waddle Dee's my favorite character. Can't leave him. Not allowed. Alright! So the fifth world of this game is Shiver Star! So we will be seeing that next time. Um, it's kind of like a Pluto meets Earth combo. Because it's like a frozen looking world. Um, but anyway, I always thought of it as Pluto. So... Regardless, we will be seeing this next time. I'll be getting those missing shards right now. This has been Madame Wario. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out, pimps!